Hey, it's Madeline. Welcome. Thanks for checking in with me today. I'm happy to be here with you. Today I want to talk to you about sleep, or lack thereof. I'm hearing from lots of people these days that they are unable to sleep at night, they can't get to sleep, or they can't stay asleep. And years ago, before meditation, um, I wasn't sleeping at night either. There's a period where I wasn't sleeping at all at night, and bedtime was actually a pretty scary time for me. And then my teacher, Deepak Chopra, gave me a couple of tips about what to do, and I want to share them with you today. So the first tip or tool is not to fret about not sleeping. So I know that when you're lying awake at night, you're usually freaking out about being awake at night and not sleeping because you need to be rested so you can function the next day. So the first thing to do is not fret about not being asleep because if you're freaking out about being awake, your brain is releasing adrenaline, which is only perpetuating your awake state. So don't fret about not sleeping. Just lie there with your eyes closed. And it turns out that if you do just lie there with your eyes closed, um, not fretting about not being asleep, that it is as effective or as restful, 90% as effective or as restful as being asleep. Furthermore, if you focus on your breath with your eyes closed, just notice the inhalations and the exhalations in and out through the nose, that takes it even further, 90 plus percent as restful as sleep. And uh, it's true. I know that it's true because this is what I did when I, during that period of my time I wasn't sleeping at all. So don't fret about sleeping and follow your breath. If you don't want to follow your breath, if you don't like that exercise, you can use a sleep mantra. There's an ancient Sanskrit sleep mantra, which is Om Agasti Shahina. Om Agasti Shahina. You can repeat that silently to yourself with your eyes closed without moving your tongue or your lips and eventually it will help you drift off to sleep. See, what your mind needs, your brain, your mind, just needs something to focus on, something that's soothing and calming that will allow it to rest enough or relax enough in order to drift off to sleep. So there are some breathing and mantra exercises for you. So the other thing that I want to share with you is actually my favorite exercise for getting to sleep, and that's progressive muscle relaxation. What you do is when you're laying in bed, again with your eyes closed, um, you tighten a part of your body, you count to 10, slowly release, and then move on to the next part of your body. So the way that I would do it is I would start at the top and work my way down. Or you can start at the bottom and work your way up, whatever works for you. So in my example, I would tighten my forehead, count to 10 slowly with my eyes closed, and then release my forehead, move down to my eyes, shut my eyes tight, count to 10, and then release, move down to my jaw and neck, tighten them, Count to 10 slowly, and then release. Move on to my shoulders, biceps, forearms, hands, chest, core, belly, hips, buttocks. You get the idea. Work your way all the way down to your feet. And then if you're still awake, work your way back up. Or like I used to do, return to the top of the head and start over again. And, and sometimes you have to do this exercise many times in order to get to sleep, but eventually you'll get to sleep. Again, your mind just needs a point of focus that is soothing and calming and that will allow it to relax enough to get to sleep. So there you have it. There are some of my best tips and tools to get to sleep. Try them all. Find which ones work best for you. Different strokes for different folks. Something, my favorite one may not be your favorite one, but one or all of these will be very effective in helping you get back to sleep. So there you have it. I hope this serves you. And until next time, I'll be wishing you sweet dreams, and I'll see you in the gap.